Today we're going to take a look at my new wheel and tire combo setup. Welcome back to the channel guys. This is Paul and today I just wanted to show you guys the new rims and tires that I just received. So let's start off with the tires. I purchased the Yokohamas right here. These are the Geolander, same size as the previous one on my car. Uh, 285 70 17s. These are the Geolander MT G003. These are E rating, so they should have 10 ply. And um, they are more aggressive because they are MT for mud tires. I purchased four tires and I'm looking to get them mounted this week. And hopefully, I can show you guys how they look like on my car. But for today, I want to show you this tire compared to my current tire. And then also we're going to take a look at the rims that just came in. These are the Geolanders by Yokohama. MT. They are pretty massive in size. And even when compared to the BFG KO2 all-terrains. All right, looking at these two tires, the Geolanders look way better than the BFG KO2s. They're way taller. And even though they're the same width, it looks like the Geolanders are a bit more aggressive and wider. The Geolanders definitely looks way more aggressive than the KO2s. But again, the KO2s are all-terrains. Geolanders are mud tires, so they're expected to look rougher. And the sidewall grippers here look so mean and wild on this setup right here. But just a quick glance, we can tell, or hopefully you can tell, that these tires, the Geolanders, are taller than the KO2s and that might be because the KO2 has some miles on them so the tread has probably worn down a bit but um, looking at this it does look like it's a half inch taller than the KO2s Again, beefier tires, that's what I was looking for. Uh, probably gonna sacrifice on the quietness for these tires, but I'm told, and based on the reviews, these tires, or MTs, are one of the quietest ones out there. So uh, that is why I want to give them a try. And also, just gives the car a good stance, good meaty tire, really nice, awesome look with the 4Runner. Again, 285 70 17 Purchased them for a really good deal. Check out the link below if you're looking to get the same set of tires. They were the cheapest that I could find online. All right, next up, let's take a look at the rims. And I purchased these right here. These are the AGP rims 302. These are the 4Runner. Model year 2020, I believe, replicas. And they are an inch wider. So these are 17 by eights. And I got them in the black color because I want to try something different this time. I've already opened this up. I even got the TRD logo or center cap here because I just think it looks really cool with the red right there, red ring. So I got four of those as part of the package deal. And these are the black or mated, mated black version because I wanted to try this. I think it just looks really nice on the car, especially with this color combo. A white car with black rims just looks really nice. These are the replicas that look true to the OEM wheel. That's why I went this route. There are other options out there, but the wheel just doesn't look as concave as this one. 
based on my review and the pictures I've seen from others, these wheels look like they are an exact replica of the TRD wheels, um, aside from being an eight inch width wheel versus the seven inch on the OEM uh, rims. Here's the rim out of the box. They look real clean. Here's the back of the wheel. It's got manufacturing date and of course made in China. Uh, 2000 pound loading, AGP parts, SAEJ2580 is what's stamped in the back. claims to be certified. I'm hoping it is. In the front here, looks like it is certified based on that stamp right there. All right, so I got a little excited today because of my wheel and tire. I just want to do this quick video to show you what I currently have and received today. And in a week or two, I'll probably release a video with the tires mounted to the rims and the rims mounted to the car. And then I'll do a before and after review on the KO2 versus these new Geolanders. Again, Again guys, if you have the same setup, please let me know how you like them down in the comments section below. This is the first time I'm getting mud tires, so I don't know really what to expect. And then these are new wheels as well that just came out not long ago. So I'm gonna give them a try and let you guys know how they go just in case you're on the fence about getting the same or similar setup. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop it down in the comment section below. And like and subscribe to this video, guys. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.